Good morning, I'm gonna take you through a leg progression using the stretching strap, but you can use something else. This is phenomenal for your hips, your hamstring, and I'm gonna lay all the way down here and go ahead and start right away this morning because we've got a lot to do. Let me tuck it on in so that I can get within my frame. I hope you're feeling great. This is gonna be a wonderful day and it always is great to start your day with some stretching. So this is a dynamic stretch. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing down quickly and pulling. And there's nothing wrong with doing dynamic work. It's actually really good for the hips. It's more functional. So I'm gonna keep my head up so I can keep chatting, but I'm just gonna just go through this very quickly. Take a nice deep breath in. Again, I'm pushing really hard into the strap and pulling. And then I'm gonna hold my leg directly over my hip. Look at the range. And I want you to focus on driving the hip or butt to the ground and pushing the heel to the ceiling at the same time. And you can put the strap at the ball of the foot, the arch or the heel, but I am pulling down on my leg, pushing the hip into the floor and reaching up with the heel. What that does is it takes the stretch into two directions. Then I'm gonna tighten my quadricep muscle. That is an active isolated stretch. Tightening the front will loosen up the back. So again, heel up, butt down. The next one, you grab the strap with the same arm to the foot and you pull the knee directly down into the floor with the foot facing directly up. And this is gonna give you some great hip mobility, it's gonna feel extension in the hamstring and in the adductor inner thighs, but then you take the opposite knee and open it up, pressing both hips into the ground. Now, I know this doesn't look very pretty, but it's a phenomenal stretch for the hip joints. There's my little cat in the corner over there saying hello, he loves to work out with me. So the knees are apart, and again, this leg is directly next to the rib cage. Take a couple deep breaths in, pull the knees apart, squeeze. Then you're gonna do something that I call crisscross legs. So I'm gonna take my knee from the back and push it to the front. Now you might think you're crisscrossing, but you're not. I really want you to crisscross. The other leg goes out to the side for an IT stretch, but then rotate the toe back towards your face. And you're gonna feel a great long stretch in both the hamstring and a little bit in the IT. So crisscross knees. And sometimes you can grab the leg on the base right here to create some stability and cross over. And then we're gonna finish up with a full rotation. And as you get the strap closer to your face, I want you to pull as hard as you can close to the head. So full range hip all the way around, cross hip, keep the hips on the ground if you can, if not, you can elevate it, and then go both directions, all the way around. Notice how I'm gonna yank my leg up really hard by my face. And then I'm gonna take the whole thing after a couple of releases on the other side. So this one I'm gonna do a little bit quicker, pull. So down and pull, just a quick review. Of course, if you spend a little more time doing these exercises, it's so much better. But again, down hard and pull. The second one is heel up, butt down, pressing as deeply as you can. You can rotate out, you can rotate in. So I'm showing you some variations, but glutes to the floor, heel to the ceiling. Same hand to foot, down along your rib cage, foot is facing up so that you're creating some open hip extension. Reach there and then pull the opposite knee forward and you can actually use some force with the arms. Then you're going to do crisscross knees. Once the foot is across completely straight, you're gonna turn the toe back towards the body. You're gonna feel a major change when you do that. You wanna do a variety of different positions. And then the last one is gonna be full rotation. And do this slower than you think you need to do it. Pull by the head. You wanna give that hip a full range of motion. Really important for hip mobility. I talk a lot about that and a lot of things I do. Pull, 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 pull all the way up and around. Keep a straight leg, but if your knee bends just ever so slightly, that's fine too. Make sure you go both directions. I'm gonna 
pop up here. I hope you enjoyed this quick leg progression. Join me live on Monday for some resistance work. I hope you have a great weekend.